some Moore's Math Class! Good afternoon guys and welcome to Mr. Moore's Online Math Class. That's right guys, these lessons are all about you learning maths where and when it suits you best. I mean, let's imagine this for a moment. You could be on a bus right now learning mathematics. No one needs to know, just bob your head, tap your foot, pretend you're listening to your favourite song. I won't tell anyone if you don't. Alright guys, so today's lesson is all about finding the equation of a straight line. So let's not hold back anymore and let's get stuck straight into lesson. Now, to be able to find the equation of a straight line, you must eventually have these two things. At least one point and the gradient. And then what you're going to do guys, is you're going to get these two things and substitute them into this formula. Now guys, you need to get used to seeing this and you need to remember the formula. I don't care how you do this, I mean you could write it down. You could dream about it. Straight lines. Or you could even write it on a piece of paper and stick it up on the back of your toilet door. Do whatever you need, just make sure you remember it. Okay guys, so let's have a look at a worked example where you get given a point and a gradient and you have to substitute them into this formula to find the equation of a straight line. Let's check it out. Now as you've seen, today's lesson is all about finding the equation of a straight line. Now before we go into this in any detail, what we want to do is just recap on some of the things we've just seen. So in order to find the equation of a straight line, we must first of all have at least one point. x1, y1, and 2, a gradient. This is represented by the letter m. And we'll use these two things to substitute into the formula y minus y1 is equal to m bracket x minus x1. This being the formula to find the equation of a straight line, where y1 is equal to the y-coordinate of the point, m is equal to the gradient, and x1 is equal to the x-coordinate of the point and y and x just remain the same. That's the first piece of information. The second piece of information is this. When writing out the equation for a straight line we can write it in the following forms. y is equal to mx plus c and ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. A couple of other helpful things to remember especially when talking about gradient is that m is equal to rise over run which is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is equal to tan theta. Because sometimes you might not be given the gradient directly, sometimes you might actually be given the rise and the run, or two separate points, or maybe even an angle made with the line and the x-axis, in order to be able to figure out the gradient and then use it in the formula. The next thing is, if lines are parallel, they have the same gradient. And if lines are perpendicular, you can find the gradient by using the formula m 2 is equal to negative 1 on the original gradient. We'll come to this later. Alright, so let's have a look at our first worked example. Find the equation of the line having gradient 3 quarters that passes through the point 7, 11. A, express your answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, and B, express your answer in the form y equals mx plus c. Alright, so to find the equation of the line, I must have a gradient and a point. Let's have a look through the question. Find the equation of the line having a gradient, so I've got my gradient and a point that passes through the point 7-11. There we go. So I do have a gradient and a point, so I can substitute straight into this original formula. So let's write out the formula. y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, where m is equal to 3 quarters, and my point is 7-11. That is x1, y1. All right, substitute in now. So we've got y minus y1 being 11, write in brackets, is equal to m being 3 quarters, x minus x1, x minus x1 being 7, close bracket, alright, and now let's rearrange in order to get it in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0. So, first of all, we've got this fraction here which is pretty ugly. Now I don't like this fraction here because I think it looks ugly, so let's multiply everything by 4 to get rid of it. So we've got 4 times y gets you 4y. 4 times negative 11 gets you negative 44 equals, now when we multiply this by 4 over here, the 3 times 4 over the 4 will cancel each other out, so the 4's will go, and that 
also being multiplied by that we don't need to worry about it so we end up getting 3 bracket x minus 7 here All right we then have 4y minus 44 is equal to 3 times x is 3x and 3 times negative 7 is negative 21 rearrange now to get everything on the one side and make it equal to 0 so what we'll do is we'll go 4y I'll minus the 3x from this side and then I'll add 21 so minus 3x from both sides x and then add 21 plus 21 the 21's here will cancel out so minus 44 plus 21 equals 0 and I get 4y minus 3x negative 44 plus 21 ends up being negative 23 equals 0 Therefore, the equation in our form ax plus by plus c equals that, or I could rearrange this here to make it exactly as it is ax plus by plus c, but getting negative 3x plus 4y minus 23 is equal to 0. ax, a being negative 3, plus by, b being 4, plus c being negative 23 is equal to 0. Next question says express your answer in the form y equals mx plus c. Well, I can just use what I've got here already to simplify and rearrange to make it y equals mx plus c. So let's write it out. We've got negative 3x plus 4y minus 23 is equal to 0. I want to get y on its own because that's what you've got here in y equals mx plus c, so I'll circle that. First step is to remove everything over to the other side, so let's first of all move the 23, so let's add 23 and add 23. That's going to cancel out, so you get negative 3x plus 4y is equals 23 and then when you add the 3x to both sides you get 4y is equal to 23 plus 3x and then we're going to divide both sides by 4 so divide by 4 and divide everything here by 4 4's will cancel out and you get y is equal to 23 over 4 plus 3 over 4x alright let's rearrange it to make it exactly like it is here with y equals mx plus c so you get y is equal to 3 over 4x plus 23 over 4. Big hint that I have for you guys is if you ever get a gradient in a fraction form, express it in this one here first and then rearrange it to get it over here. It just is a whole lot easier in the long run. Okay, so it's time to pause that video once again and attempt the following question. Remember, once you're done, press play and check your solutions against mine. Okay, so the question says this. Find the equation of the line having gradient 5 that passes through the point 4, 1. Alright, so the gradient 5 passing through the point 4, 1. So in order to be able to find the equation of the line, we must have A, a gradient. Well, yes, we have that being 5, as you can see above. And it must have a point being 4, 1. So we have all of the relevant information that we need to have. Well, this is x1, and that is y1. Now all I need to do is substitute these values into the formula. y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. So y minus y1 being 1, so y minus y1 is 1, equals m being 5 from here, bracket x minus x1 being 4. So y minus 1 equals 5, bracket x minus 4. Basically, I've just gotten rid of all of the brackets. Therefore, I've just expanded this part here, multiplying the 5 by the x and the 5 by the negative 4, so it gets us 5x minus 20. All right, now what I'm doing is I'm rearranging, subtracting 5x from both sides. All right, the 5x's will cancel out here, and you'll get y minus 1 minus 5x equals negative 20. This time what I do is I add 20 to both sides. Negative 20 and the 20 will cancel out, get leaving us with 0, and you get y minus 1 minus 5x plus 20 equals 0. Now I can combine the negative 1 and the positive 20 to get 19, so you get y minus 5x plus 19 equals 0. I'm writing it out as ax plus by plus c. You get negative 5x plus y plus 19 equals 0. Now expressing your answer in the form y equals mx plus c, I've rewritten out this equation that we came up with down here, up here. So you get negative 5x plus y plus 19 equals 0. First thing to do is to add the 5x to both sides. Negative 5x and 5x cancel out, leaving us with y plus 19 equals 5x. Next thing to do is to subtract 19 from both sides. Positive 19 and negative 19 cancel each other out, leaving us with just y on this side equals 5x minus 19.